presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10-minute charts, watching the VIX, and uh, just making a fortune here on the futures. Isn't it interesting? Interesting. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Be impeccable with your words. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 255, NASDAQ down 30, SP's off 22, gold, gold contract up $19.50 trading at 2,056 an ounce. We have silver up 62 cents, $26.30 an ounce, light sweet crude flat, $68.52 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note up 17 ticks, trading 116.14, the 30 year. Up a tick at 131.29 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 41 ticks, trading 101.384. The Euro is at 110. The Yen is at 134. And the British Pound is at 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Well, I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. So let's get into the futures first because we know inside the futures, when I was just doing that update, you got a, the spike that was up there intraday, has high volume, and yeah, it's gonna go after it, man. So look at this, look at this bar. So you can see the spike we had intraday. That that spike got us to four zero nine seven. Okay, you had contract volume out there of forty three thousand contracts. Well, right now my phone went dead, so that's not good for my ten minute charts. Well, one second here. Well, okay, see it? We got a minute. But you can see the expansion again. This thing wants to run up to the top, and we'll see what it's going to do when it's at the top of this range. You know, you can see the expansion of volume already uh, on this bar also. NQs. Now, the NQs, that did have divergence inside the NQs because the NQs didn't, the, the bar that was down versus the bar that was up had actually more volume. NQs. Yeah, it's, it's, we got an expansion there, too. This next bar is going to be really important. And the NQs, you know, what you have here is that that's going to be the 13,131. And that, <laughs> that, that was quite a move this morning, and that's going to be quite a move again. Right? You know, we'll see whether it's going to get to it. See, the difference was if you're bisecting and dissecting this volume, uh, how I do time, price, well, well, volume and price, folks, you see the bar that came down? That was a heavy bar, man. That, that's the difference here between the NDX and the three in the S&P. You know, because we came down there with uh, 12,900, and then we went up with only 8,600. Whereas the S&P was in harmony. And what harmony means specifically is that when it did go up, it had the volume on the way up. When the S&P pulled back, it would pull back with light volume. So we'll see who's going to win this out. Gold. Take a look at the gold contract. You get gold contract, 296,000 contracts. So now what's happening in the gold market is that you actually have another ABC structure on the way up. I had this number before I got on the air. It's a big one too, man. Yeah. Now, we made it to 2085. That was overnight, folks, okay? But the bottom line is you got volume in this, man. And this is, this is going to be, I'll get to those numbers as soon as we come back. This is going to be a big move, man. That's the bottom line. And so, you know, you can see what we did. We took out the 
the high that was generated out here at 2063. Your 2085, we get way over the volume. The volume with, that we were trying to take it out was a couple hundred thousand, even if I get the day, the day after it, which is the biggest, which is 260. We're already at 296. So that's saying that thing wants to go. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. What we have in the note and bond market is that the 10-year note still going higher and we have volume behind the move. Now, this could turn into an ABC structure on the way up, and that would be a total mind blower. But the bottom line is that you're coming to the top of the range again. The top of the range is 117.01. Now, we hit 117. You do have volume behind the move. And right now, the 10-year is at 3.3. .3. Now, just so you can get some context on this, that the high for the last three months is four. So we're down 7 tenths of 1% in three months. Let's go look at this on, I'm just curious, six months. So six months. Yeah, see, this is cool. In six months, folks, you're down almost one full percentage point. 4.2 is the high, and we're at 3.3. Now, you do a year, it's going to be a different ball game. Yeah, you can see the year's a different ball game. But look at this. This gets interesting that even a year ago, it's 2.5. Well, when you do 2.5 to 3.3, you're at only 7 tenths of 1%, 8 tenths of 1%. That's not, that's not a lot. That's not a big number, man. That's just not a big number. Some of the high volume equities that we have out here today, you have. Uh, Advanced Micro, well, that's funny. It was down seven bucks yesterday. It's up five today. Okay, here we go. You got uh, the banks are getting smoked again. First Horizon, that's a TD uh, bank. They decided they're not going to basically merge with First Horizon. That's losing 30, 33%. It's down five bucks. You got PacWest off two bucks. I got uh, Western Alliance getting smoked. That's down 40%. That's down $10. Uh, let's go to Apple. Apple uh, coming out with numbers. Now, what Apple does, Apple comes out when the market's not open. They come out at 4.30. So Apple is going to be looking to take to their, their top line uh, $92.6 billion, to the bottom line $1.43. And let's see what this baby looks like. So put this on a weekly or a monthly. Let's see what we're going to do here first. Okay, so you're coming up to the... Put this on a monthly. Yeah, this, this is not in great shape, man. Yeah, I, I don't think Apple's going to come, come through what people are looking for. I think their service revenue is going to be up, but this is... The, the last the last time we had any volume on the way up, it's not that bad. Well, it's, it's actually at 165. It's kind of where it was. You know, it, the last month the volume dropped off dramatically. You know, this thing should be banging out something like two billion on a month, and we only had uh, 1.5. So stay right there, folks. We'll come back with our man, Mr. Tim Ward, and we'll bisect and dissect the markets out here. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now is uh, up, up 316. NASDAQ is up 52. S&P, uh, no. NASDAQ's down, Dow's down 317. NASDAQ's down 52. S&P's off 30. We're coming right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 360. We hit the Nasdaq off 68. S&Ps are off 36. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the hour. And you can reach Tim every trading day, folks, at Ord-Oracle.com. That's Ord-Oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Well, I uh, sent you a chart probably about an hour ago. Did you get that one? I have it. Do you want to start with that uh one? No, no, actually, I wanted to, I just wanted to make sure you got it. But we'll start uh, chart number one, which is a monthly chart. Okay. And uh, I drew a Fibonacci relationship from the March uh, 2020 low. And uh, uh, if you can see it there, I have a 50% retracement. Yes. Uh, which was uh, pretty close, didn't quite hit it in October of last year. Okay. But uh, that was a low for that decline and the market kind of worked up, has been working up since that time. Then I have a great big um, uh, line drawn to a, down to the volume and I have a sign of strength there. Right, yes, we see okay. that. Yeah, that if you notice that big volume on that, it was a monthly chart, so that was the, Martha, that was the month of March. Yep. And I drew a, a, a um, neckline and if you can see it, we, uh, if you connect the highs going back to uh, morning out of that neckline, it broke above that neckline with a sign of strength. So in a Weisskopf term, that's a, a breakout of a, of a neckline uh, confirming it or confirming a breakout. Okay. So that neckline is around 405 on the monthly chart. Okay. So I got the, the breakout. So the market went up a little bit in April. Now we're in May, and we're kind of right, right back at the 405 area. Yes. So on a monthly ch chart, uh, I'm, I have a confirmation on a monthly chart that we broke above the neckline, and the neckline uh, is support. Now, if you go to the chart I sent you about you know an hour ago, yeah. Um, I got a, 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 a kind of a shaded area, pink area at that 405 area. And if you look at uh, late March on the volume chart, I got a red circle around a, a yes, volume. Yes, we uh, see that. Spike in volume. Yes. Right. And you compare that to the previous high, which is uh, another circle around a volume area in um, early March. I see that. You notice, yeah, you jump the creek with a sign of strength. That's, you know, that's Weisskopf method. Sure. So, so now that area should become support. 
I mean, and this is what I really want to stress. You never get a bottom without panic. If you don't have panic, you don't have a bottom. And there's a lot of different ways you can define panic. You can do it by the VIX. Uh, if, you know, if you get spikes in VIXs, you know, you can do an RSI on it or a rate of change. Uh, you can also do it with the ticks, and you can also do it with the trend. And there's probably some other indicators you can do it with, but those are the three that I use. And I, uh, once you get to a, a support area, if it's going to be support, you got to have panic. If you don't have panic, that support area is not going to hold. And I want to point out here, uh, we jumped above 405, and last week when we were talking, last Thursday, it says, we're pulling down to that 405 area, and I'm saying it's going to hold support. And the reason why, you got panics in the trend. Any trend reading on the close of 1.20 is considered panic. Well, you had panic on Wednesday. You had a trend of 1.35. Then on Thursday, the day of the low, you had a trend reading of 1.68. Right. And uh, uh, Wednesday of last week, you had a 570. 570- a 17 down tick reading too. So you had ticks uh, showing panic and you had two days of trend panic. Now, so the market rallies up, uh, hits a high on Monday. Now we're back into the pink area again. Yes. So now we had on Tuesday, we had a trend close of one point oral, which is panic. Uh, not much on the ticks there, plus 174. Yesterday we had a 116 on the trend, which is near panic. But we had a 469 down tick readings. And I, over the years, I came to the conclusion that if you get a trend reading of 1.2 and you get a down tick reading within one day of a panic trend reading, in other words, day before or day after, I call it a bullish combination. And that suggests the bottom will form within the same day as those readings to as, to, as, to as late as two days later. Well, the combination came uh, yesterday. We had a 469 down tick reading. Day before we had a hundred one point four on the trend, which is a bullish combination. Okay, suggesting the low will form either yesterday, which obviously that's not the case, as the market went lower today. It would be today or tomorrow. So anyhow, we got panic back in the four hundred five area, and once the trend reaches panic area and the tick reaches panic area in a previous support area, normally you go back to that area, you'll get panics again. It's just sport. That's exactly what we're having here. So, so my, Tim, you, let, for, let, let me ask you, with a, if we get our head wrapped around the volume here, now what's going to happen, we're coming into that area for sure, but the, the, the volume is going to expand. Mm, yeah, that's a good point because you got a gap there. Um, yes. When, I, you know, we talked on the on the uh, uh, radio last, uh, last uh, Thursday. Right. The market gapped up on... Friday, right. and left an open gap, and I'm thinking, ah, crap. If anything, I hate gaps away from air, uh, support areas, but a lot of times you come back down to them. Yes. But if you follow the volume scenario from last last uh, Friday, the market, let's see, yeah, Thursday is when the market bottomed. That's when we were talking. And Friday when the market gapped up. So Monday, Tuesday was a high, right? If you notice the volume. That's correct, yes. Yeah. Yeah, volume dropped off Tuesday because the market hit a new high and volume dropped off, so there's no energy to the upside. So now we're going back down. And if you test the gap on 10% lighter volume, so last, the uh, would be the last uh, the, uh, Friday's gap would be the volume you test against it. So um, I'm not you should test the previous gap areas, like testing a previous high on 10% lighter volume. That that's usually implies resistance. If you test the gap area on 10% lighter volume, that's a support area. The day's not over yet. Yeah, no, no, I'm with you there. I get it. I was just questioning the, the aspect. I, I get it. Because what's happening right now, let me just, the, the, we have divergence in a big way between the S&P and the, and the, you know, the Qs. Because what's happening if we look at the three Qs, right, we're, we're coming into um, 65 million, and we're going to be lucky. We're going to do like only 50 million in the Qs, right? But okay. the S and P, the, the so if we look at the spy, and this is always tricky, folks, when if we have divergence, okay, they're coming in 
and we've already done 71 and it only has to do uh, 85. So that, you know, the spy is going to end up doing 100 million, you know. So listen, just hold that thought. All right. So we're going to we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come right back. We'll go through the other charts um, and we'll go from there, man. As you said, the market's not the, the day's not over yet. Right. <laughs> right. Not yet. So. That's the bottom line. Stay right there, yeah. folks. Uh, Tim Ord and myself, we're going to be coming back. You can reach Tim at Ord-Oracle.com. That's O-R-D-O-R-C-L-E.com. Dow Industrials right now down 310, uh, 306. S&P is off 30. NASDAQ off 50. We're going to be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow is down at 296. Nasdaq's up 47. S&Ps are off 29. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Ord, and we are talking markets. So, uh, Tim, the, we have the chart up here. Um, of uh, you know the the two circles with the with the the volumes on it. Right. Do you want to continue okay. with this one, or do you want me to go yeah. to another chart? No, I will continue just a little bit longer. You know that that it, gap did form last Thursday, and that gap on the SPYs volume wise was nine three million shares, just a smidge less than that. But anyhow, it's nine three million shares. So if we're testing that gap today on ten percent lighter volume, that'd add to the the bullish situation because we got panic in the ticks and trend 
at around this 405 area. And if you get volume to match it uh, to be 10% lighter, which is also leans bullish, then there's uh, probabilities really increase that this 405 area will hold. And if you also look at the monthly chart, we, which we went over, because we did have a sign of strength through that neckline at 405, and that 405 should hold its support. And since you're showing panic in this this area, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm calling this a, probably a, a bottom. Now, if we didn't have on this pullback we had over the last three days, if we did not have the trend above 1.2 or tick readings above uh, minus 200, then I'm saying, yeah, we're going to blow through this 405 and go down lower. But since we already got panic, panic only forms at at lows. Then uh, I'm, I guess, confident that this 405 area is going to hold. Not saying today is going to be the bottom. No, I'm with but you. If we're ten, I, so but if we're 10 percent lighter volume, I'm saying probably today is the bottom. Yeah. So, so let know. me we'll ask you this. Oh, I, I'm trying to figure out whether we're on the I'm on the wrong date or not because so there's. there's I can see we, we had a sign of strength. At, look, I can't see that far on my chart because it's way too in front of me. It went from 404 yeah. to 409, and that, I'm talking the SPY now, that had 112 million shares, so we're definitely going to be way below that, but that's not the swing point, but that was a sign of strength going all the way back, it looks like, at the end of March. So that's where the and, gaps okay. are. Is that what we're talking right there? Well, there's a gap that formed um, Wednesday's close to Thursday's open of last week. Okay. That gap, I have it. Uh, I have it uh, labeled there on a. Oh. And we're testing that. You see that pink area? Yes, I do. That shaded pink area. Okay. And I have a, a, a gap a line that says gap on it, pointed to that area, which is. I last. get it. I get it. Okay. I don't. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We're, we're, te we're, we're testing that gap right now. Oh, and I so see. You, you know what's happening? Folks, here, yeah, I'll show you this on this screen. Watch this. I see it, Tim. I, I got it now. What's happening is that when I look at this line chart that I have, so if you're looking at this line chart, folks, you're going to see it looks like there's not a gap, but there is because this at the bottom, which the, that's entry, yeah, because the bottom that we had hit 403.76 that day. And that's when it gapped up. Because see, this on the right hand side, folks, I'll get the cursor off it. That's where we actually closed. And then the next day we opened. I see what you're saying, Tim. Okay, and it, it didn't even 403. That's so intriguing. So picture this. That yeah. that low that yeah, it went right to the gap, man, and closed it. Okay. Cool. I got right. it. Yeah, we were, yeah, we we did it today. Yeah. And and that gap, which was be Thursday's volume. Or yeah, it'd be Thursday's volume because that's the gap up from Wednesday's close. So you take Thursday's volume, which is 93 million shares. So you need to be around 10 percent lighter than 93 million shares today to say that gap ha gap has support. Okay. So the day is not over yet. We got you know 25 minutes to go. Yeah, we're not going to do that. So so to, to walk the listeners through this again. So what you're doing. Even though the swing point is down there at the 403.78, you're saying that the next day we had the, the small sign of strength, so we're going to use the 93 million number, right. oh, which totally makes sense, I see. And then, now, Ward, so the, the low of that was 406.74. So if we actually closed above 406.74, it would even be better today, right? Yep. Yeah, yep. cool. Yep. Okay. It's because you're testing the gap. There's right. another thing, too. Today's Thursday... Was it Tuesday? If you look at Tuesday's volume, yes, I think we had we had a hundred and some million shares. Yes, we did. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know exactly what number. I have one hundred three, but that's what we numbers. had. Yes, and, and we we broke through that that low of of Tuesday today. We didn't touch the low yesterday. That's correct. It came a little bit short. Right, we touched it, but we broke it through today. That volume's ten percent lighter than yes. the previous. Low. That means a false breakout to the downside. Okay, so cool. So you're testing the gap, and it looks like it could be 10 percent lighter volume. Yeah, I think it probably will be. And if you broke below Tuesday's low on the 10 percent lighter volume, that implies false breakout. So, and we also got you know again, banks in the ticks and trend yep. on this decline over the last three days. If we didn't have panic in the ticks and trend. This, then probably we'll be hitting a lower, but in this vicinity was probably where this bottom is. It's the combination. So I'm, I'm still, I got it. Cool, man. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 
And okay. there's another thing, too. I do a lot of formations, too. And I'm thinking, you know, we see the little high we had first of April. Yes. Um, you know, we went down, then we made another high in mid-April. Yes. And we went back down again. Then yep. we made, made a higher high, uh, what, Tuesday of this week. Right. And I'm thinking that three drives to a top pattern, which okay. has a downside target to where the pattern began. Right. Which is basically where we are. Okay. Yeah, and, it is. Right. Cool. Okay. Yeah. And three drives to the top pattern is usually not a, a long-term topic, but it's a timeout and an uptrend, I used to call it. Right, so, right. Nice. Um, but, okay. yeah, that's my feeling. I know we got about two minutes to go here. Yep. You want to flip to the gold chart real yes, quick? Yes, absolutely. Okay, I have it up. All right. Uh, this is, how do you know when the market's going to trend? Well, I can tell you. So the, the second window down from the top, or the top window is GDX. Okay. Next window down is the GDX advanced decline percent. Yep. With the 50-day moving average. Yes. If it's st when it stays above zero, the market's in an uptrend, and all those blue shaded areas. Yes. Are are when that 50-day average is above zero. And there's a lot of little quirks in there that didn't stay above zero, but I just made, I just put the ones. That stayed above zero. Yes, and so those are um, ones. So anyhow, we've been above zero since last August, and oh. uh, we went down a little bit. Uh, I don't know, looks like about February or or something. Then we turned right back up, and we're back above zero again. And we're actually gaining ground right now. Today's reading was had been higher over the last two days, so. In my opinion, another impulse wave, even though we did correct here over the last couple of weeks, the indicator in general stayed above zero. So we're still in an impulse wave, and we're going on to, well, we're in May, so we're going on to, what, eight months, nine months of, of rally here. And so far, as long as these indicators stay above zero, the market is in an impulse wave to the upside. Uh, so this rally... What I'm saying is there's no sign of a top here, even though we, we consolidated here over the last couple of weeks. The up-down volume advanced client indicators remain above zero, suggesting this impulse wave has further go to the upside. And, of course, the consolidation is helpful because that's building cause, too, Tim, right? Yep, that's building cause. So. Listen, folks, our man, Mr. Tim Moore, is going to be doing a workshop for us. He's going to basically come in. Give us a lot of great education, so you stay tuned for that. Tim, you have a great weekend, safe weekend. Of course, we look forward to speaking to you next Thursday. All right, sounds good. Thank, Thank you. you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 260. Get the Nasdaq off 34, S&P's off 24. Let's go to Rob in St. Pete. Hey, Rob, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, how are you? Doing great, man. Thanks for holding. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I just wanted to gather your thoughts on the uh, KRE, the Regional Banking Index. Um, I've got some puts on it and have had them for a while and just was really interested in what the downside target would be that you have on it. Let's take a look at it. So the KRE, folks, is the Regional Banking Index, which is get absolutely getting smoked. The low is today, $34. The high is 68 When I say the low to the high, that's in the last 12 months. And this is all about these banks going south. So let's put this back. Okay. So you don't have a monthly ABC down. Have you taken any, any money off the table yet? I took a little bit off. Okay. Um, actually... Actually, uh, yesterday I took some off, but I have about 80% of the puts still on. So, so let's see. Let's and they have a they have a June 9th expiration. Yeah, so you got you got 60. I got time. Yeah, I'm with you. So it's about 19. Gets you into 27. Hmm. Um. You know, the way that this is traded, like right here today, you know, I suspect, let's see, make sure I get this on a daily. You hit 34, rejected 34.52. You're in the money, right? Yes. Yeah. I have the, uh, have the 39s. You have the 39s. Oh, you just, yeah. I'd start cleaning them up, man. I'd start cleaning them up. You, you know, you can get a bounce to 39 yep. and get these things, you know, negative in it pretty quick. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You see this? If you watch the Tiger TV, see, we just, Tim and I were just talking about a sign of strength. Not that this, that right, right. there today, um, that bar, that's, that's someone's buying right there. So, like, that bar got you to 36.30. And you're backing down. You're back down once. Let's see, it came in again. First it came in. What time was that? That was about quarter of 11. Then they came in again. You know, so. And what you do have, so picture this, that, you know, I don't think this banking deal is over. But when you see something that's like this, meaning the volume has exploded even heavier today, you could get right. a bounce, man. You know, because it's like, yeah. it's almost like a flush and then. Go ahead. So maybe like let it bounce, get out now, let it bounce, and then get back in. That's right. It, sell them again. Was, was appropriate. See, I think I think this could sell. This could bounce to like forty-one. And where I'm going there, okay. that, that was the biggest volume outside of today, right? Then it went sideways, right. right? So you can see that we rejected, you know, 
3452 today. You're at 3602. You can do the bounce up to there and then let loose again. Pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. because you because you're so close, uh, you don't want to give that up, man. You know, two yeah, or three points. Yeah, two or three points in that. It, you know, we, you have, well you've seen it how fast it can go. Do you know what I'm saying? So. Yep. Yep. Cooking, All brother. Right. I appreciate. I appreciate it very much. Okay, man. You have a great one, a safe one. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let's go take a look at the GDX out here and see how this is shaking. Uh, the GDX right now. Yeah, see, the gold contract wants to do the ABC up. The GDX, we might have it. We might have it. I think we do. Yep. Oh, we're going to have some fun here. Look at the size of this ABC up, folks. This is a monster. Holy cow. Okay. Let's see what we got here. You got 35. I wish I could see. 25. <clears throat> My God. This is disgusting. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I see it. Do it another way here. Yeah. 43. 43 is the number. So let's put this back. Let's go see what's at 43. This is a nice ABC up, man. What's the swing point? The swing point is 45. We're going. We're going to 45. That's the next leg up here. And what's going to be intriguing there, folks, okay, is that at that, at that particular level, okay, that's going to put you in a whole different range, meaning you get, then you can go right after the highs. Yeah, that's how this is set up. And you can see that's on the monthly. So watch this on the monthly. I'll spread this out a little for you so you can see it. See down the bottom? You know, that's a monthly bar. That's a nice monthly bar. And then if we make this a little bit smaller, you're going to see what we actually did. That bar there, that's exactly what you're looking for. See that bar there? That bar there is when it, it got through the trend line comes back to the trend line, just explodes topside. This is a Bud Rolfs channel line, and it's a beauty, man. So when you do something like that, it says, okay, 45 is game. 45 is game. Let's go to the dollar, because this is saying that the dollar is going to be the one that I suspect is going to get the market higher, if Tim is correct in his assessment, as well as gold. Because the bottom line is that this is teetering at these, at these lows. Put this right here. You can see. Well, here's, here's the low. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> excuse me, folks. It just can't get away from this low. So if we bust this low, we're at 101. We're going to have some fun here. You're already in the lower range. That's saying that you can, my God, this is saying you can get down to 91. It has to go a little bit lower because there's a sign of strength that got it to the 94. No, 89. But there's action here, man. And it looks to me like uh, that dollar, the longer that it stays downtown like this, the higher the probability that it can actually basically take that leg down. And if it takes that leg down, that's where I could see what Tim was looking at as this market wants to take a leg up. And if the dollar goes down, the market will take a leg up, metals will take a leg up, all of the above will take a leg up. Let's go take a look at Apple because Apple, so Apple comes out today at 4.30. You gotta remember it's 4.30. And right now, let's just see what they're doing in these last few minutes. We still got plenty of time, we got 10 minutes, but. So Apple just can't catch a bit out here. You know, you're at 53 million. That's not enough, man. It's not. It's just not enough. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up, trading down 300. NASDAQ's off 56. S&P's off 31. We'll come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 286. You get the NASDAQ off 51. S&Ps are down 29. And uh, let's see what we have here uh, in the indice volume. So... Indice volume right now. Oh, this is going to be short volume. You're at 770. We did 1 billion yesterday. We're not going to do a billion. Uh, it'll come in about 9, 950. In the composite, we are at 4.2. Wow. That's light volume. Now, this is where this gets interesting about the aspect that, okay, if the NASDAQ is light volume, you know, I look at Apple and it says, it looks to me like, you know, Apple looks like it wants to go down. But when you do the, <laughs> when you do the volume on the Qs or the composite, it's pretty light. Yeah. So maybe there'll be something else out there that will basically, or, or it just doesn't blow its brains out. That's the other side of it, which could happen. You know, you know, we, we the Qs only have 45 million and they are going into... Look at this. I mean, they're going to. This is getting worse. I got to figure this out. 65 million. So that's a market. We have, well, yeah, you rejected, you rejected 315, but it's going to be, this is going to be a close call, man. You know, but every time that I do look at Apple, Apple doesn't look to me like, hey, listen, it can turn around and just lay, stay right here at 165. You know, when you had the, 
Qualcomm, okay, so, you know, that makes the chips for Apple. I mean, they flat out said, hey, man, they're not selling chips. And, you know, Qualcomm gapped away and wants it away today. It's, you know, down big numbers. I think what will make up for that gap and down, not for gap and down, or chip-wise, is the service revenue. Service revenue has been going up dramatically inside of Apple. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Remember, Apple comes out at 4.30, so it's not going to affect the futures from 4.15. It will when they open back up, though, that's for sure. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get them, folks.